can I share something with you? Really? I'm having a love-hate relationship with this bubble in my right eye. Let me tell you why. I'm grateful for what it's doing. It's healing the hole in my eye, bringing the macula um, closer, closer and closer together and sealing that hole and making it so that um, I don't lose my sight. And the doctor said, the, the hole is gone, the, the, it's doing its work, but the bubble is still there. And, you know, I'm like, all right, the hole is gone. Bye-bye hole, bye-bye um, bubble, bye-bye bubble. But um, I have to let nature take its course. And that's why I have to embrace this feeling that I'm having with this bubble that I can see with my eyes open or closed, jiggling in front of me as I speak with you. But it is a blessing that my eye is being repaired. Um, it's part of the aging process for some folks, one being myself. Today is day 32. And in the U.S., it's Labor Day, and usually everyone is out enjoying the beach or having a picnic or having some kind of dinner, celebrating the end of summer and the beginning of fall, where people usually go back to work, right? But this is COVID-19, the pandemic era. Now, in Philadelphia, actually tomorrow, um, restaurants are going to start to allow people to come in and eat 25% capacity. Um, that's a great thing. We're moving in the right direction. But I just pray, I pray that people will continue to practice social distancing and wear a mask um, for themselves and for everyone else. Um, it takes a community together. It takes the nation. It takes the world you know, to, to show love to each other by wearing a mask. That's how I feel about it. So mask up, I do. Um, today, even though it's Labor Day, was actually my first day back to work. And henceforth, you can see the computer here. I am on dinner break, so I only have a few minutes. So I wanted to check in with you to tell you about my first day so far. Um, I am so glad I didn't rush back um, to work. Uh, the bubble is still there, but it is, it is not as annoying as it was last week. So I'm making do as I'm doing most of my work from the computer. Um, I try to, um, you know, take breaks and maybe just, you know, walk around because sitting isn't great uh, for long periods of time. And aside from that, not working, I try not to read too much. So I'm gonna be pulling out some audio books to, to listen to, to continue to feed my brain. So that's where I am right now. So far, so good. It wasn't a, a crazy news day. Um, you know, just a lot of just people out at the beach and, you know, doing what they do. And I, I just wish everyone well and that they stay healthy and that you stay healthy and that um, you enjoy this time. Um, and hopefully we'll get to the other side of this. Whereas, and I don't know if it's gonna go back exactly to how we used to live, but um, it would just be really nice to feel comfortable to in, embrace other people and you know, just, you know, just be near other folks. Um, you know, this social distancing, it has taken a toll. And then add on having a surgery and being at home and not working. For me, it has been a challenge. But I am so appreciative of you joining me on these days as I share my journey after having a vitrectomy. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And as always, I wish you love, light, and most of all, joy.